Hi, this is Mike Johnson from Vex.com. In this video, um, I want to talk about retail marketing to a specific niche. Uh, many of you may have seen uh, the flyer floating around the internet um, for the uh, Baby Mama Tax Service. Um, let's see. Here we go. Yeah, <laughs> Baby Mama Tax Service. And what this is is a... Um, a uh, tax preparer that's targeting targeting just the baby mamas, and I'm I'm sure they'll get other people coming in. But it, this is just an example, kind of an ab absurd example, but it's an example of how uh, a business has taken such a specific niche um, and used that to their advantage. You know, people are going to stop and see this sign. There's a, a tax preparer. You know, every few blocks or whatever, especially around tax season when these temporary offices open up. But um, in this instance, you know, they've, they've really taken a stand on who their target is. And, um, you know, they've identified them. Now, one of the things that makes this relevant to your store is the fact that a lot of, a lot of retail businesses don't have a specific target. They don't have a specific target market. And if they do, they may not communicate it well to employees or to customers. So it's your job to really think about who the best targets are for your business um, and see if you can if you can start to communicate to that specific niche. Um, you know, once you once you concentrate on a niche, you know the others will follow. It's it's okay if you're not talking to everybody that comes in. Um, uh, people worry that if they target too specific a niche, they may lose out on some business. Well, that's just not the case. Uh, what it really does is it opens up um, your business so that you're marketing to somebody versus kind of marketing to no one. So think about who your target really is and start to speak to that um, that demographic and, and those people. Uh, for more tips like this and more info on the retail coaching program, go to vexed.com.